Hey, Kevin, there obviously was a, a lot that went into that game. I mean, what did you, first of all, just the resiliency your guys showed to have let that lead get away and a lot of hardy balls that weren't going through. It just seemed like a game where it looked like it wasn't going to come back to you. No, it didn't. It didn't feel that way. You know, you kind of got the sense it was going to be one of those games. Uh, but when they separated and got the three-run lead with just how good their bullpen is, uh, we knew we had kind of an uphill climb, but give the guys a ton of credit for staying at it. Like you said, we did have some hard hit balls. It didn't have a, much to show for after Brandon's um, big grand slam, but they stayed at it and, you know, came back, pieced it together against, uh, you know, a pretty elite bullpen that has really done some special things this year. So big win. Right. What, what about the at bat in the night against Classe and even the base running? It just seemed like you guys, everything kind of clicked right there. Yeah, there, there was a, a lot of good at bats. I mean, Classe, you're not going to find a guy that's more powerful, uh, probably tougher to square up. Uh, the cutter, you know, he's throwing a cutter at 100 plus miles an hour, and then a slider at low low 90s. It's amazing what some of these pitchers can do right now. But you know, Randy hung in there with two strikes after falling behind 0-2. Wander, uh, I'm guessing Wander hasn't seen too many pitchers like that. Um, you know, coming up, uh, and then Yandy. You know, a lot of confidence that Yandy's going to be able to come through um, just because he puts the bat on the ball so well. What happened to Margot? It looked like maybe the left hamstring. Yeah, uh, yeah, hamstring. I'm not sure exactly which one. Uh, yeah, I think it is the left. Just pulled it trying to beat out that hit, and that got everything started. So hopefully it's not too bad, but hamstrings generally are, you know, he, he, he was, man, he's not one to come out of the lineup, so we could tell that he was in some pain. Uh, so just the last thing, the, the way that you, had, you went through the pitching staff, just kind of your, your progression there. Obviously decided Rich wasn't looking good there in the fourth, and then you went to Drew and, and Springs rather than maybe the higher leverage guys at that point. Just well, I mean, with Rasmi, he comes in and gets a big, big out for us. Um, and then, you know, give their hitters a lot of credit. They put some you know, some good swings on the ball. The ball that Fran Mel hit, 98 in the top corner of the zone. I mean, ideally, that's kind of where we're trying to go. So tip your cap. You don't see that ball get squared up like that very often. Uh, and they gave us our fits, but the guys stayed at it, like you said. Uh, got some big, big performance by by kit and then pete comes in and keeps us gives us a chance to keep it at one yeah, you feel like it was a good approach offensively pretty much all night I mean, only five strikeouts like hard hit balls get right at guys that kind of came through in the ninth is what you're able to do yeah i mean that it, it doesn't feel like it when you're going through it uh but looking back i mean look it was a lot of a lot of runs scored a lot of hits uh and there were some balls that we squared up and they had us positioned really really well um but yes, it was a solid approach, and uh, as the score dictated, we needed every bit of it. A big moment for Brandon, obviously, the lead was lost, but a big moment for him as far as you know, continuing to trend in the right direction with Grand Slam. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, look, we and probably coming off a lefty helps that much more just for his overall psyche but we did talk we talked in buffalo how we felt brandon was kind of trending the right direction uh and and he's continuing to show that it got a fastball that gave us a, a a really big early lead that you'll take every time going back to ritual that's like he's kind of running out of gas there maybe in the fourth or if you had the bullpen rest with an all day tomorrow I, I, combination. Look, I think Rich uh, does what he always does. He competed really, really well. Uh, I, you know, I, it's unfortunate that that one two o two pitch, whatever it was, to Bradley got away from him. But just felt in that moment that we needed to kind of find a way to stop it right then. And you know, Rass did. We got a, a, a line out to, to end the inning, and then Cleveland got right back at it. Anything else? Yeah, you touched on it too, Wander. That I mean, you probably haven't seen a lot of guys like that to have the at bat that he does in that spot there. Just kind of. No, I mean, they are. yeah, I mean, just the, the the maturity of the guy to go up there and take a first pitch. You know, you, you know what you're getting, but he, put, you know, him and Randy both took it, wanted to see it, uh, and for Wander to do that and just have all the confidence. You know, it's so easy to say I got to get out in front of this. It's coming 100 plus miles an hour, and he stays on a pitch and shoots it into the gap. Just kind of tell us about your approach in the ninth inning there. That's probably a guy who has stuff you. Maybe didn't see as good of in the minors. Yeah, but no, has visto a alguien así con el staff que tuvo ese pitcher. Te lo explica un poco lo que estabas haciendo de tu approach ahí en el en el. Bueno, el approach fue muy bueno 
porque en verdad vi varios pitches buenos y, y quizás se la ajuste ahí. No, I think I had a pretty good approach. I know I had seen some pretty good pitches already, the few pitches I did see, but uh, it was good and I had a great approach. You taking the first pitch to give you a chance to kind of look him over? So I was the man that we met with Joe, Mas Parabes. Sí. Yes. And just what's it like to be in the dugout as you guys you're, you're down and you start seeing that rally in the ninth and one hit after another? What's that feeling like? ¿Cómo se siente? Estamos perdiendo y luego hit y luego hit. ¿Cómo se siente en el dugout con el equipo? Bueno, bueno, nosotros seguimos con la misma energía, tú sabes, haciendo la misma pros y tratar de, 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 de golpear la bola fuerte para, para ayudar al equipo, ¿no? No, we just want to keep the, the same approach and the same energy. Just got to find a way to, to make something happen. Juan, that's a pretty big hit and a big moment for you there. I'm just curious how comfortable you felt at the plate in that moment, how comfortable you feel just in general right now. Fue un gran hit, un gran momento. ¿Qué tan cómodo te estás sintiendo ahora con ese hit y también en la caja? Bueno, me siento súper bien. Solo porque no dice sí, sino que puede ser el equipo empate y teníamos el chance de demasiado de, de ganar. No, I feel really good, not only just because I got the hit, but because I gave the team an opportunity to win the ball game. You mentioned yesterday after the air you kind of wanted to make up for it. Was that on your mind at all after the uh, after the air today to, to come through later? Que ayer mencionaste que el error que comiste ayer querías recuperarte. ¿Cómo te sentiste hoy con, con eh, ese pensamiento? Bueno, bueno, sí. Pensé que los errores son cosas que pasan y uno tiene que levantar la cabeza y seguir, seguir luchando para ayudar al equipo. Errores happen and you gotta find a way to keep your head up. It's part of the game and you just gotta keep on fighting through. What did you think of the game Yandy had, Wander? He had the big homer and then obviously the winning hit at the end there. ¿Qué piensas del día que tuvo Yandy? Tuvo el home run y luego el hit ahí en final. Bueno, bueno, sí, hizo buenas buena pruebas ahí. Se supo leer bien los picheos y ejecutó la bola para. Para empujar la carrera. No, he had a really good approach. You can tell he was seeing the ball well, and he did a really good job.